Seems like every day there's a new game being lined up for the firing squad of Forever Dead franchises and it looks like Mass Effect 5, the upcoming title from Bioware, is being laid upon that heap of massacred and dead properties. And of course, I'm talking about the new game that is being developed by the same people that made Dragon Age Veilguard. Bioware developers that worked on that game are moving and focusing their attention on the next property they have lined up for release and of course that's mass effect 5 and i think a lot of people were excited to hear about mass effect 5 in development even after the atrocious mass effect andromeda but this new development of having the same developers that worked on the overall disastrous release of dragon age veilguard and the game that is being speculated as one of the worst rpg games of all time that's gonna let people know that maybe we shouldn't be as hyped for this game as we were hoping for and of course a lot of people are gonna say if you played a drama you already know mass effect is trash but i think people were hoping for a slight shift and change because it was already the warning sign to buy where that gamers are not responding to what you're making and of course when you see that warning sign usually companies pivot but nowadays in this modern day video gaming industry a lot of companies now double down on stupid and, and that's what people are expecting to see with this upcoming release of mass effect we're expecting a double down on some of the elements that we saw in drama the bad graphical elements the terrible animation style overall uninteresting gameplay the awkward glances and looks of the animations or just anything that was related to the designs of the characters was just off-putting to the gamers in general and i think we expect to see something even more so according to the storyline which was a chaotic mess for mass effect andromeda where we were playing the game wondering if this was a, a, a comedy or a joke or something of a broken mechanic but what we saw from andromeda was a game that was entirely unserious and made out of haphazard plans and unrelenting mediocrity and i think that's the thing that pushed away a lot of people from the mass effect franchise and when we see some of the elements of andromeda put on display we realize we may be getting more of that because the people that are developing the game are coming back and some of the people from dragon age veilguard are coming back as well so i'm thinking this is going to be a disaster we know the terrible storytelling characterization of dragon age veilguard we know the terrible story elements and the overall designs of the characters from andromeda and mixing that in into a pot soup of a uh, gaming development is gonna come out with a bad outcome a lot of people are now hesitant of what we're gonna see from bioware at this point i think it's done for a proper reason of course the game director that is working on mass effect 5 came out and said they're not going to do the same art style of dragon age veil guard they're going to do something in line with the original mass effect but it's okay who cares we know the terrible writers and storytellers from dragon age veil guard are coming in and they're going to bring that terrible sensibility to mass effect which was already a terrible declining story with andromeda and, and more so some people will say even before that so what are we having here what are we hoping to expect with this game that has been on a continuous decline for the past decade can we expect more from the people that have just disappointed us recently and that is just not only holding true for mass effect as the video game it's holding true for a lot of the elements that are coming out related to mass effect like the tv show that has been greenlit for amazon being written by the fast and furious 9 writer which is not really a strong sign for the show itself fast and furious 9 wasn't that great of a movie but it wasn't terrible it wasn't like dragon age veilguard writing but what can we expect from a director and producer that is going to be working on this amazon is known to make trash content that is highly focused on progressive political activism so can we expect anything less from a game from bioware that is a highly activist organization that doesn't care about their own ips anymore either they just want to push their messaging so i expect this tv show to be an utter disaster something that we can ignore because it's just going to be so bad that nobody's going to be watching watching it much like in line with the halo series so I, I see that as something that is a negative as well being put on to the mass effect franchise and how it's being conducted outside of the game i think that's a sign of what we'll see inside the game itself not only that we have trouble with the the board games related to mass effect the mass effect board game had an entire controversy when in relation to the pronouns that were being added into the game which just didn't make sense for the game because that was never a, a focus in the the mass effect world 
world at least adding in these modern day pronouns but now we have this here and it just breaks the immersion of the universe that we had created for the past 10 15 years with the mass effect series so this is a situation that is showing what the mass effect property is being used through other ips and how it's being interpreted with the guidance of bioware and ea we see the semblance of what we always see with these progressive activist developers where they're shedding out their ideas and philosophies with all these other tangential properties that are coming out related to mass effect so for me seeing this with board games seeing this with tv shows seeing this happening with all these elements around the game makes me know the game is going to be utter trash when it comes out at least that's my perspective from seeing the things that are being released around it and just me personally having played mass effect andromeda with the stiff faces and the overall unemotional characters that just didn't really fit the story the, the broken design and characterization it just was a weird game to actually play and this is before i was aware people were just making terrible games because of their progressive politics i was just like this game is just terrible what is happening what happened to the quality what is going on with bioware how could they make this terrible game now it's pretty obvious you had these activists flooding into the gaming industry these people with no talent or skills getting priority over the old game designers that were able to create something fantastic back in the day and i think that's the result of the talentless and mostly political activists gaining footing in the gaming industry and this is one of the first games to actually just fall into that category of being an activist focused game and i didn't notice it at the time but when you watch it and play the game now you can see the failings right there because it just goes down to the absolutely lacking of ability to create a coherent game that actually worked and this was one of the biggest games that just came out broken and unable to be played by the player base and of course i don't think we're going to get that with mass effect 5 i think we're going to get mostly a game that functions well enough we're just going to get a terrible game that is not interesting bad characterization forced political progressive politics concerning a southern los angeles idealism and that is just not something i want to play a video game for i'm trying to play a video game to see something unique fun and fantastical but we're just going to be stuck in the mire of california politics in a mass effect game and that is just a sad thing when sci-fi is supposed to be engaging interesting and almost revolutionary in the way they reimagine the the future and, and it's a sad state of affairs where video games no longer can reimagine the future they only can look back at the modern times and present and talk about that in a very direct an obvious way that is uninteresting and unengaging to the fan base and that is just a sad thing to see especially when we're getting it from writers that are saying their politics straight out and directly to the fan base of course i'm talking about mass effect writers talking about the most recent election that passed in america the 2024 election and how she suffered through the consequences outside of that and she says i'm trying hard to restrain the vicious need to lash out at other people following the presidential victory of the republican party of course i'm talking about trump and you can just see the picture of some of these lead writers where you're like oh this is that type of game these are these type of people and i think that we see the colorful hair the piercings the absolute broken mental state due to the election you already know what you're gonna get in mass effect 5 you're gonna get an alien donald trump and that is the thing that i'm not excited Excited to see you know what happened during the last trump presidency they just made every entertainment property about a trump figure and we've been seeing the outcome of that in video games and entertainment for the past four to five years and it's just boring and uninteresting and i think they're gonna double down in that concept because they feel they have to reflect everything about themselves back into the game that they're producing rather than focusing on making a fun game for the gamers to actually enjoy and play the story is going to be trash automatically if we have writers with green hair obsessed with donald trump so it's a sad state of affairs and you can see some of her tweets right here like she said she was furious spiteful exhausted scared to have a, a rage about what's happening in society she goes on and says she'll be streaming she's talking about how she's grieving she's gonna play a light game to to actually relax and of course that's a better thing you should do rather than raging but this just tells me what type of mass effect game we're gonna get it's going to be a game that is just much in the line and in vain with what we saw with Dragon Age Veilguard, a game that nobody wants to play and a game that people will use 
as a funeral song to a once beloved franchise like Mass Effect. But that's just my thoughts on the situation. Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think Mass Effect will survive the Trump derangement syndrome of Bioware and of course its lead writers. I highly doubt that's the case. We're going to see something that is going to be epically bad and maybe even worse than Dragon Age Velgard and maybe even worse than mass effect andromeda and that is just a scary sight but you leave a comment tell me what you think like comment share subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time <laughs>